P-A-T. The following program is presented by its producer, host, and sponsors. Don't touch that dial. You are among the privileged to partake in the great musical experience of the overnight shift on AM 930 WPAT with Dawood, the renegade Sufi. Assalamu alaikum and good morning and uh, welcome to the Overnight Shift on AM 930 WPAT. It is Saturday, the very 13th of June in the Gregorian calendar year of 2020. I will be with you for one half. I'm Dawood, I'm the Renegade Sufi, and I will be with you for one half of one hour bringing you music of a beautiful and arcane nature. But before I do that, I must offer the prerequisite shout-outs. The first shout-out to Brother William Kareem, who is the executive producer of this show, the uh, Grand Poobah, the Big Kahuna, and a guy who walked in here wearing a turquoise shirt. And it looks good on him, ladies and gentlemen. He's styling today. And then another shout-out to Brother DJ Oh Baby, the Groovy King. Yahoo! He's down the hall, howling back at us. He just brought you two hours of beautiful music from the African diaspora and all kinds of other cool commentary and uh, uh, fun and hijinks and shenanigans. And uh, he will be back next week. When I was trying to figure out what I'm going to play during uh this uh during this time because sometimes i actually plan this out sometimes i don't most of the time i don't most of the time i'm just uh i'm just trying to figure things out uh but you know just on the spur of the moment because you know i i do that and i don't really know what i'm doing but i decided that today i am going to bring music from some local artists. I haven't done that in a while, and I think it's about time that I gave the local people some play. So, let's give this a listen. That was a couple of local artists. Uh, that was uh, Narco Bourgeois, and I can... Uh, assure you that uh, they are uh, not uh, given to uh, the abuse of substances. I don't know why they named their group but that. Uh, that features the, uh, the vocals, the bass, guitar, and uh, compositions of uh, Jeremiah Hosea. Uh, very talented man. And that was a piece called Way With Words. So, uh, yeah, look out for Narco Bourgeois. They have some uh, really great music happening. And before that, Naima Mustafa doing a piece that uh, the music was composed by, uh, uh, by uh, TK Blue, a.k.a. Talib Kibwe. And uh, she wrote the lyrics to that, if I'm not mistaken. And Naima, if you're listening to this and I got that screwed up, please forgive me. Um, and don't kill me for it. But... Uh, that was a piece called Evening Prayer. That was really nice. That was really beautiful. Beautifully done, Naima. And uh, yeah, keep, keep, keep up uh, bringing us that, uh, that beautiful music of yours. I'm going to continue with, uh, with some other, uh, another local artist, uh, somebody who... Um, this man is uh, not only a master saxophonist and uh, composer, and the leader of a group called Sosala. He is also the uh, founder and president of a musician's rights activist organization called Musicians for Musicians. And you can get more information about them by visiting that uh, musiciansformusicians.org. I happen to be a member myself and uh, co-produce uh, the, uh, the organization's uh, official podcast. Anyway, this is a piece from their uh, first album uh, called New World Trash, and it's a piece called 
Uh, Sad Saki. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that that was uh, a piece by a group called So Salah, featuring the uh, saxophone and compositional work of Sarab Sadat Lajavardi, um, and it's a piece called Sad Saki. And in fact, uh, uh, Sarab had told me that uh, he's uh, uh, at work on a new release. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I've always uh, liked his music very much and uh, had the opportunity to play with him a few times. And uh, well, uh, I'll uh, share that with you when it comes out. Anyway, my time here is drawing to a close. And uh, there's never enough time for me to play all of the music that I uh, have for you, but uh, inshallah I'll be back next week and I'll be able to bring you some more music. And I'm going to leave you with, uh, whoa, I don't uh, know what to leave you with. Uh, uh, Brother William. Uh, you going to play something from me? I, I'm going to help you. You got to help me decide. Okay. Uh, should, should I... Uh, well, I don't even know how to how to choose. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, I'm gonna see whether or not it's a. Uh, uh, you, you. Oh boy, he now he's now he's looking over my Jethro shoulder. Jethro Tull, man. Oh no. Well, I'll save Jethro Tull for later. I got, I got a okay. I got a piece for you here. Um, this is by a man named Mark Deutsch. Who uh, and I remember. Uh, you remember when I taught? I said that I uh, produced, co-produced the official podcast for Musicians for Musicians. Yeah. I interviewed Mark Deutsch, mm -hmm. and he is a classically trained sitarist and oh. contrabassist. Oh. Well, with a, in addition to having a background in jazz and all kinds of things, and what he did was he invented an instrument that combined elements of the sitar and the. Uh, contrabass mm. and he, it's called a bizantar and last october i actually did some performances with him he even let me play the instrument which was an amazing experience this is a piece where he's playing that uh unique instrument because there's only one of them in the whole world uh this is called kundalini rising and i will be back next week and until that time i pray that whoever you are wherever you are you are safe you're warm you're happy you're healthy, you're with someone you love, and that your cookie jar is filled to the very brim with the cookies of your choice. I'll see you next week. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.